Hey guys and welcome to another Corona tutorial. Today we will take a look at how to utilize Corona's new layer material to create uh, some sort of car paint with flakes. Also to make most of the layering we will also try to add some dirt on top of the R material at the end. So uh, to get started I've gathered some reference images uh, of car paint because it's always good to have uh, reference images of something that already exists in the real world so we can do a better job uh, replicating it in 3D. Uh, the other image, uh, the reference image I've got uh, is this close-up of uh, the actual uh, uh, car paint flake or flakes or the glitter uh, which we know, you know, we can inspect and uh, really try to do our best to replicate it uh, in 3D. Uh, so, as Corona doesn't have any kind of uh, procedural uh, metallic or car paint flakes map or uh, material, we'll have to create uh, our own. Uh, so, that's what uh, the first part of this tutorial will be focused on. Uh, so, let's get started. Uh, some user on the Corona forum has actually found a quite nice way of uh, creating uh, flakes normal map and uh, it's basically just uh, scattering the actual geometrical flakes uh, on some surface and then rendering a normal map out of it so that's what we are gonna do I'm gonna start with just a nice uh, square plane so let's make it 400 by 400 centimeters a uh, scale really doesn't matter in this case I just like to start with this uh, all right, once we, we've got this, let's uh, duplicate the plane and push it a little under, copy it and make it slightly larger. Let's select our first plane, uh, the top one, and make sure it's not renderable. Uh, for the other plane, we'll actually uh, create some new dummy corona material, assign it to the bottom plane. And in the advanced options, we will make sure that alpha mode is set to always transparent. You will see why in a second. Now we'll create uh, the flakes itself. So let's get to top view. Let's create a new cylinder. And let's make this cylinder have six sides and one height segment. So it's a hexagon. We'll get one more, which is going to be a pentagon and one more which is going to be just a square all right just get all these delete this make sure our pivots are centered so now we have some flakes to scatter let's uh, grab corona scatter which is here on the corner let's create corona scatter and uh, for the instance object it's going to be our flakes so let's add them in and the distribute on object is going to be our uh, our plane the top one All right we are going to set the previous type to the actual full geometry uh, set the scatter count to 1000 to begin with uh, and set up our uh, randomization so the scale is going to be i think from uh, 10 to 20 percent uh, maybe uh, that may be uh, I, I i think this is this is small enough all right and uh, for the actual uh, randomization of the rotation we will We'll set X from minus 20 to 20, same for the Y. And for the Z, it's minus 180 to 180. So we have already a few flakes. Let's uh, crank up the count to like 10,000, 100,000, which may slow down our viewport a bit. Uh, but just for the preview purposes, we will, we will use it uh, we will keep uh, the display percentage to 100 and reduce it afterwards and let's enable collisions and set the spacing to like 80 percent all right now let's decrease our display number percentage to like one percent go to the top view make sure it's not camera just top view and i'm gonna set my rendering aspect ratio to be 
perfectly square, so our aspect ratio is gonna be one. And now let's just uh, place our view so that it covers nicely the entire top plane. Uh, let's just disable the GI, we do not need it. So let's set GI versus AA balance to 1, so we have a lot of AA sampling and do not cast any secondary rays, or just one secondary rays per AA ray. Uh, so our rendering is as quick as possible, increase the resolution a bit. And uh, let's add our Corona normal shading element. Now if we render this, we don't see anything in the beauty, but in the normal shading, we can see our flakes map. So I think this actually doesn't look that bad. Maybe, maybe we can crank up the X and Y rotation randomization just a little bit. Render again. And uh, why we uh, the reason we had this, these two planes is the one on the top is not renderable, so it doesn't intersect with the flakes, so the flakes are not half cut off. Uh, but uh, uh, we then wouldn't see the flat area, the, ne uh, the neutral blue which is required for the normal map to work properly. So that's why we have the second plane. The second plane has corona material that has a visibility to alpha disabled because, uh, and therefore if we now go to alpha, we can see we do not, do not only have uh, the normal map, but also mask of the flakes themselves. So let's get back. Let's uh, increase our resolution to 248, for example. I think that's enough for the flakes map. And let's just render again. And this is what I get. I get nice normal map of the flakes as well as the mask, which we can then simply save. And I've already rendered those maps and saved them, but I just wanted to show you how you can achieve the, achieve the flakes uh, how to create the, fl the map itself. Also, of course, you can you can uh, customize the Corona scatter to get more dense flakes or more sparse flakes, depending on what exactly you're looking for. You can you know subdivide the flakes themselves a little bit and put noise on them to have them more randomized to have something like galvanized metal kind of look. So uh, this is it for the uh, for the creation of the of the flakes normal map. Uh, one more thing I'm, I, I want to show you. Uh, oftentimes uh, when you see uh, the car paint uh, on the photograph, uh, you can see that uh, those flakes have a kind of randomized color. So we will prepare another map, which is this map. I'm going to show you how to create it from scratch. So I will just uh, create a new map uh, of the same resolution as our flakes map, so 200 uh, 2048 by 2048. I'm gonna fill it uh, the entire canvas with 50% uh, gray color. Now I'm gonna create noise, 100% uh, Gaussian uh, colored non-monochromatic noise, which I'm then gonna blur slightly. So we get, that's, that's maybe not enough. Yeah, Gaussian blur, one pixel. We're going to blur it once more, but with the median filter, which is under noise, noise, median, by two pixels. Now we're going to sharpen it by unsharp mask. I'm using one pixel radius with 100% amount. And with the hue saturation, we're going to crank up the saturation, let's say 80%. So now we have some kind of uh, colored flakes map which we can then map our reflection with and get uh, some color vari variation in the reflections of the flakes. So this is another map which we will be using in the next lesson. So in the next part we will get to the actual material creation. So see you then.